And so hey guys, it's the afternoon and I did some work and the next one I'm going to do is this one here is the mosquito net and all this is I just picked it up from a discount store. I think it was like 13 bucks or something. It was like, it was really really cheap like 10 bucks. I can't remember. Now if you go to Amazon, it's actually about $20. So this was in a bargain bin and it's it works perfectly fine and I'm just going to string it across at the top there in in on this bar here and what I did was I got it sewn at the top so it's got a bit of a like a loop in it and then the sides over here I'm going to probably figure out a way to tape up or or use magnets now when I was working with this I recognized why it's because this part here is broken but that's okay um, it's still much much better than what I had which was nothing and here we go. So this is the mosquito cover for the side door that I have. And bottom portion was trimmed off. And here the next step is I just have to develop a way to make sure that it stays on the side here. So I'm going to I'm going to probably going to use some magnets for that. This side here should be okay. But again, maybe I'll use some velcro, but for now the general look of it and fitting is in place and these are the magnets that we're going to be using they're the round ones they're actually very strong and i'm going to be using probably gorilla glue to put them on before i've used other glues and it just didn't stick but this thing here gorilla glue actually i mean this thing makes everything stick you know what i mean you know what i mean hold on there's no cookies in there. Too bad. And here's something I'll be using as well is I've done this enough times that whenever I try to glue something, I notice that I sort of have to like pinch it for a little while. In this case here, these clamps, uh, the, I got these at the dollar store. I think these ones I got at like a Home Depot, but they're going to be really useful in just making sure that those magnets are stuck onto the net. And then that way I'm not sitting there sort of clamping it shut. Although it does dry pretty quick, but this will make it much more convenient. And so here we go, we've got our clamp, we've got our magnet, and we've got our Gorilla Glue. And we've got some leftover painter tape, just sitting there, minding its own business. X marks the spot. Now, of course, I'm wondering, where should I start? Where should I start? Well, I'm thinking, let's start over here, because that seems the most ac accessible. And easy so we'll take this put some glue on it clamp it well actually no this put some glue on it stick it on to that then clamp it and something I'm just looking at right now is where exactly would I place this this magnet should it be over here or should it be at the side what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it here on this sort of it look because it much it looks like it'd be much more secure here and that'll give me a bit more in terms of in terms of a bit more slack on the, on this side over here so this I'll, I'll place the magnet here and it'll plop right there okay so let's try that and there's our magnet i just tested it out so it does stick to the frame wouldn't it be horrible if it didn't stick to the frame like sort of like magnetized to it but it does so that's good and there it is i just put a dab of gorilla glue and then i'm going to place it on to stick it onto the the mosquito screen and so can you see it there's our magnet right there right in the middle of the screen and it's clamped on boy this thing's really useful and it's where the x is and it's on the fabric side of the mosquito screen and then what I'll do is I'll do the rest. Now I just put a dab of glue on it, so it should be okay. But you know what? I could smell it. So when you're doing this, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. And what I've done here is I've marked off where I would be placing the magnets. So I could sort of do them one by one. I thought of putting glue on them all at one time, but I realized, well, that's going to be messy. And I might drop it and all those other things. But here, I'll, the next one I'll do is probably going to be this one here. And I'll get the clamp for that one as well. And again, just a dab of Gorilla Glue. 
and that's that'll be just enough and well we look at that works just fine the smaller clamp works just as good as the larger one right here so now we have two and it's working out well so far and I'm guessing by the time I get to the last magnet this thing should be dry because it is quick drying and it's looking really good so look at this so I've got a magnet there I've got a magnet here oh, look at that all these wonderful little magnets all doing their own little work now earlier I said that I was gonna place another magnet here but guess what I want to open up this guy here and you know what's underneath there it's sort of like this this thing here this sort of yeah this plastic thing it's just sitting there saying hey man I don't want a magnet on me and so what you know what we're gonna do we're not gonna put a magnet there we're gonna just leave it the way it is look at that very cool oops sorry about that guys there you go so it's getting there so we'll do the other ones one up there one over there and then one at the very bottom I think there's I think there's two yeah there's two at the very bottom here and then we'll be done for that one side and then we're gonna walk on over here and see if we need to place some velcro for now I'm just gonna leave it I think because they're all it's all working out pretty good oops sorry about that look at that that's my drawer it's my junk drawer you know what I think every van built has one of those where you just throw everything in there but then again that's my entire build it's so cool you know what I realized working on this today magnets are cool they're a lot of fun to work with anyway thought I'd mention that okay and here we go I'm gonna try to film myself dabbing this there we go just we just squeeze a bit uh, oh my goodness there that's all that's all you really need just a little dab a little dab of glue look how beautiful it looks it almost looks like an eye and see it oh wow see how it's reflecting the the sky above me just quite wonderful look at that so the last one I, I placed the last magnet I glued on at the top kind of tore everything down well didn't tear it down brought everything down but that's okay because it's a little heavy right so my bad but what's great is everything else was maintained because it's sort of well it is it's stuck onto the top there it's already looped through so let's take a look at the one that we did earlier and it's this one here and let's see if that's stuck so that's what it looks like right now so I should be sorry it's hard to do this with one hand so I'm going to just this should be stuck it's been over a minute that's for sure <gasps> look at that nice so let's take a look still holding my camera still holding on so there so there it is and let's see if it uh sweet look at that wow you know magnets are so cool i'm so attracted to them but about see get that attracted to them magnets okay and here we go so we have the entire set right here all being glued down so for now we're just gonna wait and once it's done i will show you how it turned out and okay guys so i started taking off the clamps and it's working out well and so i'll show you see that so there's a magnet and it just pops right in so once i take off the tape it'll look really nice and i've got a couple more down here these were the last ones i did so i probably will take them off at another time maybe another few minutes but i did leave it for probably about half an hour at least just to sort of make a cure and i noticed as i was looking at this when i was taking off the tape and everything that there's a sort of film that sort of it sort of went through and and i can already tell you it's slightly sli hold on sorry it's slightly flimsy you know so but so far it looks like it's working pretty good so as long as i don't like you know tear it out it should be good now if it happens that it's not going to be sturdy enough what i could do is i could reinforce it with some some tape and i know uh, the same company that made the glue for this uh, gorilla uh, they make gorilla tape and look I've, I've used all kinds of things and it's a really good it's a really good tape and for the record 
I am not sponsored by them. I'm not affiliated with them. It just so happens that they happen to be a really good product and and it's you know for what it can do it's it's quite good. So there's here's what it looks like right now. And there we go. So pretty happy with it so far. And I think once I take out that green, it looked really beautiful. And here's what it looks like. I took out all the the clamps and it's looking really good. It actually closes up nicely. So for example, I could just sort of go in here and it sort of sort of catches itself like that. It's also magnets. And okay then. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to peel off the tape. Oh sorry. Peel off the tape like well, trying to do this with one hand. There we go. Okay, and then we have this stuff here at the side. We're gonna peel this stuff off. Now notice that the again the magnet it should have sort of just pops into it. And this one as well kind of pops into it. And this one here also, this one here pops into it. Magnets are so fun. They're so attractive. It's gonna take the strip over here and just peel it off. And this is what's great about painter's tape. You know, it sticks long enough, you know, so that you can get what you need to get done. And then you could just take it off and it's gone. You know what? Sort of like some relationships. There we go. Yeah, that painter's tape. It's a low commitment tape. And we have this one here. And we're going to take this off. Just same thing as before. You know, guys, it's kind of difficult doing this one hand. But you sort of know. So here's another one. We'll take that off. And I'll do the same thing for nice all the other collection tape. of tape right there. And now this is this is something I didn't expect would happen, and that sort of this le leaving the sort of this white film, or you know, that's from the glue, and I would imagine it's taking some parts of that tape and putting it there. So on an aesthetic level, it doesn't look that great, but it sure is functional. But you know what we could do? I've got a marker here, and we could do this. There we go. Just sort of marker it down. And then it's not so, oh, sorry, I'm sort of doing this while I'm looking at what I'm doing. I'm looking at the camera. There you go. That doesn't look that bad. Makes it look nicer. Well, okay then. So I'm just about to start work, but I'm going to show you how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this off like this and it opens up like this. So this part is good. You know what I'm thinking? I'm probably going to put Velcro there. That way it sticks up nicely. Sticks there nicely. And then here, this goes like this. And automatically matches up. And then we have this, the magnets over here. Magnets go here. So really quickly, you can see the quick setup. Like the magnets just literally just pops into place. And, and there's our mosquito net right there. Voila. Very quick. And it works. And I'm going to put this one at the top over here. There. So now we have our mosquito net. And it works just great. Look at that. Maybe the bottom there as well. So. Pretty cool, huh? And there you have it. Please support my channel by commenting and subscribing. It's free and it can help you with your own tiny home build as I will be giving you free tips and tricks on how you can make it happen. And if you believe someone else may benefit, please share the video of my curated playlist.